everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a super impromptu video because I did not realise that G7 was coming to Cornwall. What the hell? I don't know why Tom didn't tell me but there we go. I've wanted to make a how to become a sustainable doctor video for a while and not really had any reason to do so. So that is why I'm making this video. If you want to see a little bit of this. So I turned up. Apparently there's been bomb scares. And whether becoming a sustainable doctor is possible, then stick around because this is the vlog for you. I hope it is as insightful for you as it was for me. I'm going to quickly talk about my sustainability journey. It all started on one night in lockdown where I watched a Netflix documentary, David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet. I was always quite apprehensive to watch this because I was actually worried that it would just make me super worried about the end of the world due to climate change. But actually, I eventually plucked up my courage to watch it and it changed my life. I went from not even thinking about, I mean, I did think about single use and I did recycle and I did try to reduce emissions and things like that where I could and save water. But I think it's really changed the way that I do things. I shop now at a farm shop and I don't use plastic packaging. I just take those little reusable bags. I shop locally where possible. I get loads and loads of local things and I try and get it exclusive to either the UK, Devon or Cornwall. This is another vlog that's coming. But obviously I have my garden where I'm growing loads of fruit and veg. So I don't have to get it imported from a different country or buy it from a shop. So the miles are reduced completely. And there's something really satisfying about literally going around your garden and just picking food and eating it. It's great. I actually switched energy companies to a green energy. They only use re renewable energy. It's called So Energy. So what? I try to use eco-friendly and sustainable options where possible. So often I'll try and buy recycled things or recyclable things. And I've recently been taking my plastic bottles back to the farm shop to refill them with washing up liquid and all the biodegradable and laundry liquid. I've moved from buying soap in plastic bottles to bars of soap and I've even got my compost bin, I've got my bee hotel which has its first guest. How exciting. I even went vegan for Lent but actually realised that I didn't go vegan because I was having cod liver oil tablets for the whole time. So oopsie. I say I eat kind of flexitarian. Basically eat sort of plant-based, including milks and things. I don't eat vegan now. I say I eat flexitarian if that's a thing. I'll eat meat every so often. So maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks or if I'm going to someone's house or if I'm going out. I try to choose dairy-free options where possible and I will buy vegan stuff but I wouldn't classify myself as vegan at all. So I always questioned whether becoming more eco-friendly and sustainable as a doctor or healthcare worker in hospital was even possible because it always just feels like we're just throwing stuff away and um, single patient use. And I know that that has changed over the years. So in my hospital, we are cleaning surgical equipment, sending it to get cleaned and then to come back rather than throwing it all away. We have moved to washable surgical gowns. There are still quite a lot of changes that could be made, but I think we are sort of getting there. I'm not sure if that's the case in other hospitals, but in the Southwest, we seem to be making those movements. But then I got thinking, what else could we do? Only flushing lines with five mils of saline instead of 10. Biodegradable gloves? Reusing gloves? Needles? No, 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 no. Then I met these guys. Let's get into Extinction Rebellion. So if people want to like, get out and like, so 
Yeah, there. That's great. That's when I put that on the Yeah. Um, yeah. The and we are, we're not here to be arrested, yeah? I have no intention of being arrested. Most of us have no intention of being arrested. Highly unlikely that we should be arrested. But it's so important that we use the voice and the power that we have to communicate the most important message of our time. Is we need to act now. We need to change things really quickly. Otherwise, all of our children, all of our ancestors will not have a livable plan. So the first one is tell the truth, is learn the truth, learn the science, it is all science based, there are many many sources, learn the truth, tell the truth, advocate the change. One health, so that's been going for years and is looking at the, the planetary health, human health and um, animal health. So it's supported by vets, farmers and so on. So what we can say I'm loving Extension Rebellion. <laughs> no, um, we're only taking the piss because Tom's mum is Maltese and says that. But in all seriousness, Extinction Rebellion. What do you think of it? I think it's great. What do you it's think great. of it? It's great to see so many young people using their voices. Not just old for future, young people. Well, and, and young people especially. There's a big mixture of ages, but, but I, I think. think. Young people especially because they're getting involved and they're using their voices. Uh, and. I think it's I think, more pertinent that there's old people here. Well, I, I disagree. I think I think actually it's more powerful the young people are here because um, it's the young people who are going to be the future generations that are affected. Yeah, but they're by the this. obvious ones, Tom. No, but it's more the fact that young people traditionally aren't involved in political discourse. So I think by having young people here, it's actually very encouraging. But I do agree. It's it's great to see. I think it's more surprising that from... there's older people here. And what I really like is the kids that are here. And the dogs. This is what it's like to have a boyfriend who <laughs> has a camera <laughs> and has a YouTube channel because he won't, we can't get anywhere. We just have to video yeah, everything. I'm making B-roll for your channel, so. Yeah, that's true. I'll probably use his B-roll for a video on this, probably. The, the world is still moving. So the take home messages from this, guys, is we can always, as an individual, do more, but we can also push our hospitals to do more. And to do that, we can act as a group. So join the Extinction Rebellion for Doctors website. I'll leave it in the description below. And they provided me with loads of other links to, to go and look up at home for more sustainability projects for doctors. So you could join the WhatsApp group and get involved in anything that's going on in the area. It can feel like sustainability is really difficult and you kind of think me making very small changes is really not going to make that much difference. But actually when you start doing it, you realise it probably does because what I've noticed since I've got a compost bin is that my the rubbish that I put in the black bin has literally gone down by about two thirds. So I'm just thinking about all of that stuff that is not going to landfill and apparently when it goes to landfill it makes loads of methane. So much better for the environment to compost it at home. What I'm trying to say is it may feel like you're only doing little small changes but little small changes all add up and if you can then pass on the message as I am to other people then they do that too. And people, especially the doctor, these um, Extinction Rebellion people were saying that, 
as a doctor, people trust us and people listen to us. So we are some of the perfect advocates for this cause and helping the planet. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you will take home some of the important messages and hopefully make some changes in your life too. I think ways that we can get involved in our hospital are, especially as a junior doctor, quality improvement projects, find out who your hospital eco person is. And if there isn't one, become that person. As I said, join the Extinction Rebellion group and there are absolutely loads of resources out there now for becoming more sustainable. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Freezing outside, a little bit high on the feeling.